Buenas noches a todos. Hello everyone. I'm going to read you on this story. Dog and Toad, a lost button. Toad and Frog went for a long walk. They walked across a large meadow. They walked along the river. They walked in the woods. At last they went back home to Toad's house. Oh, drat, said Toad. Not only do my feet hurt, but I have lost one of the buttons on my jacket. Don't worry, Toad, said Frog. We will go back to all the places where we want. We will soon find your button. They walked back to the large meadow. They began to look for the button in the tall grass. Here is your button, cried Frog. That is not my button, said Toad. That button is black. My button was white. Toad put the black button in his pocket. A sparrow flew down. Excuse me, said the sparrow. Did you lose a button? I found one. That is not my button, said Toad. That button has two holes. My button had four holes. Toad put the button with two holes in his pocket. They went back to the woods and looked on the dark paths. Here is your button, said Frog. That is not my button, cried Toad. That button is small. My button was big. Toad put the small button in his pocket. A raccoon came out from behind a tree. I, I heard that you were looking for a button, he said. Here is one that I just found. That is not my button, well, Toad. That button is square. My button was round. Hold, put the square button in his pocket. Frog and Toad went back to the river. They looked for the button in the mud. Here's your button, said Frog. That is not my button, shouted Toad. That button is thin. My button was thick. Toad put the thin button in his pocket. He was very angry. He jumped up and down and screamed, The whole world is covered with buttons and not one of them is mine! Toad ran home and slammed the door. There on the floor, he saw his white, four-hold, big, round, thick button. Oh, said Toad, it was here all the time. What a lot of trouble I have made for Frog.
Toad took all of the buttons out of his pocket. He took his sewing box down from the shelf. Toad sewed the buttons all over his jacket. The next day, Toad gave his jacket to Frog. Frog thought that it was beautiful. He put it on and jumped for joy. None of the buttons fell off. Toad had soothed them on very well. And that is the end of our story. I think what's very most important lesson that Toad made was that he couldn't find his button. He couldn't find his button. He couldn't find it. He looked everywhere. Him and Frog. They even had their little, sorry, their big friends to help them out to find his button. But Toad was also being very rude to his friends. And yelling at them was not working. Getting angry, it did not work either. You see, sometimes it's good to have friends to help you out to find the toys that you lost or like an important storybook that you want your parents to read to you to sleep, of course. And I am just, I'm just like Toad. Sometimes we, I lose some of my drawings or my phone and so that I cannot just remember where I leave them but I will always find them in my room or in my living room and sometimes I will be upset because sometimes it's hard for me to remember but thinking sorry being patient and remembering step by step, then you, I, I remember writing my stuff. Is that right, snailing? Yes. Yeah, sometimes I lose a lot of things, even one of my favorite seashells. You collect seashells? Yes, I do. Sometimes I lose them, but. Sometimes I do remember where I leave them. And where are they? I don't know. Sometimes I get very silly. Ah, that's just me. And what about you, Crocky? Well, then, sometimes when I go swimming in the pond, I like to carry, like, little snacks. Sometimes I'll carry, like... Those little fishies, and I love eating fish. It's my favorite snack to eat. But then I remember one time that I had, I left them behind a tree, and and I was swimming in the pond, and I went back. I I don't know who took them, or I probably lost them, but they were not there. So I probably misplaced them when I need them. Sometimes it's hard to remember to remember things that where you need your stuff or where you need your favorite snacks or your favorite seashells. It's hard to remember where you need them at. But soon those memories will come back to you and you'll remember where you need your stuff. Right? Yeah, that is true. It takes time to remember, right, Smiley? Well, yes, it is true, Crocky. What about you? Yes. Sometimes, if you lose something that you love the most, like, like a favorite storybook, or your favorite toy, or games, or your favorite ball to play with. It is hard to remember where you need them. But always 
Be patient and try to look for them. That way, you'll remember when you need your things. That is true. So true. And it's also, it is good to have a friend to help you out and your, and, and your family too. Because with all the help you need, that is good. Right? Cocky? Right, Snaily. Well, remember, boys and girls, don't forget to not lose your stuff. If you don't remember where you need them, ask for help. Like your parents, your grandparents, or your cousins, or your brothers and sisters, or your friends. Always ask for help when you leave your things. Okay? And don't forget them. Alright? And don't leave them any, in any places that you do not know. Okay? Good night, everybody. I love you all. Love you all very much. Sleep dreams. Hey, wait for me, Crocky. I'm leaving you. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, always remember when you need your stuff, boys and girls, okay? And don't forget, next week is Thanksgiving, so be ready to eat. <laughs> all your favorite food, okay? Good night, everybody. Love you all. Stay safe.